You should be protesting the judges then, not the yeah. police. Well, I'll tell you why I choose to protest the police, because that's where the rubber meets the road. My problem isn't with somebody in Washington, D.C. or uh, Chicago, Illinois, that is writing things on paper. It's the guy at my door trying to enforce it. The problem is, where are the walls rooted from? And so, like, if I come to your house and you ask me to take off my shoes, that's your house. I respect your property rights. I would take off my shoes and I would just leave. So, rules or laws to be made, they would just have a more pure source of their, of where they're derived from. So, what would you like us to do? Oh, I got nothing. To do. <laughs> I would love it if you guys would stop working for the government and work yeah, for private customers. Because you, you guys seem like we're not. So, I would pay each one of you $100 a month to buy some Your job would be so much better. You wouldn't have to do any of the BS that the government makes you do. You wouldn't have to get in these tense situations with civilians, and you could actually provide them a service. So, like, I don't know if you guys really enjoy kicking down people's doors for marijuana, but you could exit that, if you, and that would oh, be better. I don't like kicking down doors <laughs> well, I wouldn't either. That's right. So maybe you don't want to do that at all. That's the beauty of the <laughs> I guess, is you guys can have your opinion, we can have yeah. ours, whether we're cops, citizens, or anything. Well, see, I got an answer for that, too, because your opinions, if you're saying that your opinion is okay with collectively taking tax dollars to pay for a service, but your opinions then force me to pay for what you believe, and mine don't. I'm never going to have a utopic side where, like, what? nobody's not killing people or nobody's not being stupid. That shit's going to happen. I agree. I can't advocate that anything that I say will achieve that. But I think it would be a lot less, and the, the actions that y'all are good at would be direct, and the ones that are harmful would be eliminated. And again, I just reiterate that, I think trying that, at least into a quasi form, maybe there's some government police, but more of this stuff is put under the private sector or the individual. You know, like, if I pay $10,000 a year to policing stuff, like, I would much rather just buy some cameras, a couple guns, and pay, you know, a hundred or a couple hundred bucks a month for stolen property finding, you know, and I think we'd all be a lot better off if that happened. You know, you're gonna have more to choices. Higher, higher than the local police in the chain. To, well, I to need your guys' help. See, a lot of people think we hate cops. But yeah. I don't. I really want to convince one of you to take yeah. my money. Take <laughs> my money and let me call you when I need you. Like that would be huge. You can lead by example for other cops. You know, like work. Why? Why can't you do this for to, besides for the city? You know what I mean? Why can't you go to every house and say, I got this amount of services you to offer you? Put it on paper and present it to somebody? I've been trying for six years with this <laughs> yeah, website, man. Sounds like a business plan. Yeah. What's that? Sounds like a business, like a business plan. plan. Well, I hear you. That's, hey, CopLock will evolve to that. CopLock Protection. You guys can come and work for us, the first <laughs> cops I hire. That's my goal is to provide you guys the alternative. I just don't want to yell at you guys and say it's wrong. But that's all I'm saying. It's just that there's got to be a better way to provide the service of protection. Jobs when I'm done. <laughs> so. up with your do Walmart plan. hires greeters. Just stand there. Like I can only theorize with it. You guys have, you guys have more skill. It'd be like you guys telling me how to edit video. You know, like I got more video editing skill probably. I think you need to present it to somebody. If you've got a plan and you believe in it, present it to. Somebody. I have been. I've, I've been presenting it to cops and people all across the country for well, years. We don't have any. Presented it to us like you. Right. Well, I the know. Lowest <laughs> form. Right. You're presenting it to the wrong people. Well, we, we gotta go we hire cops. You, no, uh, you guys. We, we sure. want to present it to you because you actually have to act as the enforcer. The guy on the hill who writes it down if on the paper, that paper means nothing, nothing if you don't go out and do it. Right, right. And so if we come to you, because you, you're personally held responsible for your actions, and so we want to come out here and ask you to break away, start your own business where you're not doing the bullshit and you're only providing, like you said, protection services, finding stolen property, actually doing things that the are- victims. For victims, exactly. Yeah, only for victims. Instead no of extortion just- extortion racket. Instead of just generating revenue, and then when you have a bad cop that makes you guys look bad, like, so a cop does a mistake. You own the mistake, you fire that guy, he's held accountable, people keep paying you. Or you don't make right on that mistake and you guys lose all your customers and then right. we don't have these tensions and Ferguson's and Baltimore things happening. I mean, where you, a few you, bad cops make it real tough for a while for other good right. cops. I was gonna say, you guys gotta be super pissed off at these cops. <laughs> He's had enough. You know what I mean? like, well, copwalk.org slash Leo. <laughs> welcome Leos. We have a welcome Leos page. All right, dudes, we gotta roll. Yeah, we got. All right.
Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, five o'clock. Clock out. It's Friday. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hey, we got dinner to grab. That dude. Yeah. yeah. Up. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Right, nice right, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, take care, guys. Oh, take care. One more time. All right, man. <laughs> you can film the police. Film the police. What do we pay police to do? Uh, what do the police do for you? What are the police paid to do? Or uh, what are the police paid to do? So, what do you guys think the police are paid to do? 